Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to talk about the Arc theme, the Arc Colora theme. I just launched Arch Merged 4.6.1 and also Mate. So we're working on Mate at this point in time. I was um, thinking about making a new update on the Arc Colora GitHub. So if you Google and you type, type Arc Colora, you get this GitHub Eric Dubois Arc theme Colora, changing the color. I've made complete rewrite of the code and I do hope that will help uh, you, listener, to maintain with me the code. So there are about eight scripts and there is one specific folder there just for the open box guys like us in Arch Merch to have an, uh, a way to have a beautiful menu. So rewrites of everything. Um, the script should be easier and here it starts installation we have a script run one to eight and then you're fine you have your own theme and here are some examples of uh, all the well the looks i have made on linux mint on solos on budgie on solos budgie or the ubuntu and so on so it's based on the work of Horst 318. Let's be very clear about that. It's not my theme. I'm very glad Horst is, is doing this theme because as you can see, there are 145 issues open. It's a lot of work to make a theme like that. Now, how do you make a new Arc Colora theme? Okay, let's go ahead. First off, you download it or and in essence, you git clone it, and that's maybe a better way to do it. For me anyway, uh, you can zip it, and that's okay. I have here the file manager that's popping up on screen number two. And this is the hello icons, by the way. Uh, let's go to the desktop. I think I can delete this one, let me think, not sure. So um, to be safe, I'm gonna put it in documents here. And then I'm gonna say open terminal in here. So that one over here, that one over there, and we're gonna actually make a new arc theme color. So git clone is a command you need to know if you don't have git, but Arch Merge guys have it, and then you install it first. So git clone, control shift V, and that's the way we get our scripts in. That's the way we install Arch Merged desktop environments. That's that. Inside here, we go back into the terminal, put it here. So basically what we're saying here, and we should check out the page as well. So it says, okay, look, um, we have to run these scripts, installation one, two, three, and so on. So installation one, Installation one is still okay. He's going to check, hey, what system is this? This is Arch Merge, that's correct. And then he's going to install the new software because, well, we need these things to install it. So I have to check on, on Solos and on Ubuntu and Linux Mint and all these um, other distros if the packages are okay. Probably are. But I had to add anyway, GNOME theme standard on Arch Merged and GTK Engine Murine as well. So that was not standard installed in Arch Merged because Arch Merged with a D, you decide what you install. Okay. So next up is actually do something first. We can just run it, that's okay too. But first of all, uh, use it, uh, use Atom to open it. As you can see, Atom has the package already installed, which is here. So manage packages. I've installed Minimap and Pigments. So Minimap and Pigments. In other tutorials, I've shown you that. And that's why we have this red thing here. So if you don't change anything, you're gonna make an Arc theme Colora that's all red, okay? 
So best thing is maybe to not go there, but to go there. And it's very easy, uh, I don't know, big color or something. Uh, there you go. Already something to, a tool to say, okay, I wanna have this orange or that orange. And then you have this code. This code is what you need to have here, but without the hashtag. No hashtag before color code. So you decide what color you want to have. And at this point in time, it's, it's set to orange, as you can see here, orange accent. So it's that kind of color you decide to have. Let's keep it as is, so we can check later if all the blue colors, because that's the problem, all the blue colors must, or must be gone. So if we check in here, for instance, let's go into arc theme, what am I doing? In script number one, you installed already the horse theme. This is the horse theme. So it, everything is already there in the same folder. That's different when, with previous scripts. So this is February 2018. Before that, we had two folders and you had to copy paste over and all that. I said, look, I'm gonna rewrite the code. And the main difference are these two. So one and two. So, the the actual art theme is this folder. Okay, so that was taking a look at the folder. This is Horst. In the code, we need to go to common, uh, to GTK3, for instance, to 2.20, to GTK CSS, and here you see all these colors. So, somewhere in here, we have this color from Arc. This is the blue color from Arc 5294E2. That's the color from Arc. We don't want the blue color anymore, we want something else. So, installation number two says, you know what, I'm gonna change the blue color into this color, the new color. And there are two parts, and that's where it gets interesting for me and for you. We have two functions, a function that's called RGB, so red, green, blue function. And down here we also have an RGBA function because of the transparency. So some of the colors Horst told it's gonna be RGB, what we are used to, something like this. This is RGB. But the A thing is with these strange decimal coding. So a little bit different. So what do you do? You check out these GTK CSS things and you say, oh, look, there is something blue. Let's change the blue. Let's go up here. Let's change the blue to red. So this is always the new color. So you say this color, change it to the same color with a capital E. So we're pretty sure that everything is now capital E. And then we say everything with a capital E, change it into red. Let's call new color one red so blue comes red this is blue comes red okay let me write an extra sentence okay i've added this line to be absolutely clear about it the very common color with a small e is changed into capital letters so that's what this is blue stays blue but the letter is capital then we change the capital letters into red. But there are other colors. We found other colors inside this GTK CSS that were a little bit blue, but a little bit off, you know? Not the same number, like this rubber band does not have the same number, but we should change it. Otherwise we have a blue rubber band. So this does this one, I think, DB. Yeah, DB. So these things, we figure out what colors Horst takes for blue. This is the standard blue, that's the standard um, color, but there are a few that are a little bit as a variant on blue, but we need to get them all. So all the blues are in here, and if you have one more, you find something more, you say, okay, no problem, Control C, Control V, you find the code that's new, you say, no, it was not DB, it could be DC, 
for the computer it's compute a completely different thing and there you go and it's another variant of blue that you just now switched to red it's that easy that's why I wanted to do a rewrite so you can fix it yourself and please help me then say look on Solos mate Mate I was using that script and you need to add this color and then everything is working again so that's the part where everything is RGB so six digits or six elements here but RGB is also or RGBA is also present like this one this is RGBA and this is not blue so I'm not gonna touch it but it could have been blue or bluish because maybe if we say one then it did yeah one it is actually blue as you can see so 0 0.2 is 80 percent color gone so leaves only 20 percent of blue so actually 38 1 to 1 38 1 to 1 is it in here 38 1 to 1 to 1 line so we covered this color we found out hey that's blue uh, okay transparent but it's blue so we need to change that color into a transparent red the new color so that's a different kind of an, a, bit, a bit longer RGB function it's actually saying look um, if you find I give him the, the RGBA I give him the new color which is the red one and then it goes up here makes an old calculation figuring out a hexadecimal coding parts of it and translating to decimal and so on and so on finally saying okay if you find these numbers that's that one then you change it into the decimal code for red okay so that's again something you can do you find a new color you say oh Eric forgot this because on my distro and then you do it like so and say I found this number it was not 65 it was 63 and up it will be changed as well so that's the idea having an easy accessible script I hope to change and to again put it on the github say look this distro that desktop environment that color should be added all right that's the main script okay let's go ahead with the next script so ls or arrow up we've done number one let's keep the color it's going to be red it's okay for me it's just a test here and we say take number two please number two is going to go over the script that we just explained so fix one fix two is going to fix everything RGB color blah 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 is going to be changed into the new color so the red color DC143C is red and this line here says now we're going to fix the RGB A colors and there are only three at the point in time but in the future there will be more and more and more so everything each time Horst changes a color we have a script here that we can add fix number 11 fix number 12 and so on and run it again and we have a, again a complete 100% colored theme the way we want that's the idea all right <clears throat> that was um, number two number three it says all CSS files have been changed so everything maybe a quick look because a lot of work has been done now but it's also uh, well you should check it out so assets SVG okay assets SVG has been changed so it used to be blue and I told him well, no 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 forget blue everything that's blue should be red so everything has been changed all right not only in SVGs but in the CSS everywhere okay next up so installation 3 well just type installation 3 
then it says we're going to delete everything because in the old uh, folders were all these blue icons blue PNGs I'm sorry I did not show you that so before you click enter here were all the old uh, PNGs next up is actually running number four which is going to take a while that's why I said here go take a coffee it's time for you to take a coffee it will take as long as it takes depending on CPU etc so what is he doing like I told you what uh, the previous script did was delete stuff but now he's creating it again because we don't want blue checkboxes we don't want red blue checkboxes so he's recreated recreating all the assets that's why I call uh, I speak of assets assets SVG assets dark SVG let's zoom in a little bit so all red all red yeah so that's why it's now with the scripts coming from Horst is rendering every little thing in there and is actually creating here new icons for us to use and it's going to do that for everything so GTK2 GTK SS Dark here as well is going to do that in for GTK3 314 assets nothing there yet so he still needs to make those so that's what's going on is making little files in PNG as you can see by the extension ah, there we are we're working on 3.14 so the speed of which it's being processed is just your PC let's wait for everything to build okay all images PNGs have been created and um, they are all now in this folder in common folder and next up is so is this was if this was number four next up is then number five it's telling me that there's this actual creation of your theme we can reinstall the original theme later so it's going to be created in a file not a file a folder user share themes so we're using the script on horse 3180 and it is destined it's it's set to write arc and arc dark and arc darker to user share themes so that's what's happening so it is installed and actually we can try it out right now but let's keep making our scripts first and try out later six is a renaming since it's now called arc and arc dark and arc darker it is not no longer that kind of theme it's a red theme so we could give it a name like I used to call it crimson or something so but let's call it just red or something but first letter uh, is capital which means it's gonna be arc uh, dash red and arc red dark and arc red darker those three things will be created and that's the name you use here you type in and that's done so it's already hidden hidden folders it's already ready we can delete this one that's from previous uh, construction here so red 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 okay we've done this we can select it already but like I said let's continue installation 7 is going to remove the personal arc theme user share because that's actually not the arc theme that's actually your theme so that's gone from user share things and then just if you want to get the the last one back so the the last arc theme which is the blue theme of course if you want that back then it's just a matter of a few seconds and there you have it you have now your original arc theme back so arc and arc dark and arc dark is back the blue one so the circle is complete scripts have been uh, done have been uh, we ran all the scripts and all we need to do is make sure we activate this now i've been running this on arch merged so um mate and even then so it can start off it can run anywhere the only thing is you need to figure out in your desktop environment how do i change my appearance how do i change my theme in this case that's in here and i'm gonna look for eric uh, red i think i've took this time 
So there's Eric Retz with the window border. We should change, but doesn't do a lot of uh, changes. So this one is another border. That one we can change. But we have arc, arc red dark, and at red darker. So three variants are possible always in arc. You know I like this one, uh, or softer for the eyes. And then you choose your icons, if not already set, and uh, cursor. And there you go. We have our own elements, which gives us here these red lines, which gives us in Sublime Text, let's go over a few things, all red elements. So that's nice. All red elements. Okay, cool. Preferences, let's get into this. Red elements, fine. Cool and cooler. Let's see what this is. Okay, this is Tunar. So I'm gonna take Kaka this time. So Kaka is a file manager, actually. But everything is red. Everything is looking awesome. And the preferences are all red. Um, another tool, which other tool? Firefox maybe. Does it show up? Yeah, it does show up. Let me first clean up my act here and close all the tabs we have open always. So clicking on here, uh, this is going to be red. I don't know if settings and all that references if something is going to be red or anything. But that's the least of our concern. As long as um, we have uh, our menus and all that, that's working fine. Terminal, maybe. Let's take a look. If we go into a terminal, show menu bar, what happens? Okay, all red. Don't want the menu bar. Gone again. So, basically, now it's up to you to decide and to figure out what color you, you want for your system. If red is not your choice, that's fine by me. You know you have 16 million colors to choose from, so go ahead and make your own arc theme. Alright, cheers.